Hello and welcome to Plot of Pie Baseball on the Classic Cookie Gaming Channel. It's Cookie Smorgasbord Cutter here, and we're back at Colonial Plaza to take on the Wild Pigs here on a Friday night under the lights showdown. We also have over an overcast night here. Would not know it's nighttime with his bright lights here at the Colonial Plaza, and. As that's grounded the Cartman at short for out number one. Um, the uh, Platypi took a loss in their last one out back on Tuesday. It was their first away game in a long time back at home. Looking to get back onto the winning side of things. And Ace Von Aceson is on the bump for them today. Von Aceson features a four-seamer, two-seamer, Slider, curve, and change up with a 417 ERA, 147 whip, and 27 strikeouts. He's a side winding southpaw and quickly goes 3 and 1 to the speed demon Becky Jennings. And now that's going to be a ground ball to Sandbrick at first for out number two. And here's Flash Evans. Fun fact the manager for the Platypi. Classic Cookie, no relation. He formerly managed the Wild Pigs and led them to a championship. Now, one and two from Von Aceson. Two and two now. A feat that he hopes to repeat here with the Potipi. Now, two and two. Fly ball to a Wugliums, and there is out number three. So, nothing doing. For the Wild Pigs, as they go three up, three down here in the first, and Kitty Kaufman will lead things off. Who will be facing Hugs L Lavelle, who features a four seamer, a slider, curve, changeup, and screwball, a 470 ERA on the year, 143 whip, and 21 punch outs. And she'll get a ground ball from Kitty here, who, uh, which will be fielded by Bloop Michaels at second, and he'll fire to first for out number one. And now, um, a Wugliam's up, and she'll f sky one out to Storm in center field for out number two. And here's Beefcake McStevens batting third and playing third. And up the middle, base hit. Almost ripped the head right off of Lavelle. My goodness. And now, here is Muffin Studwick. Who it will try to bloop one in the left, but Jennings will be all over it for out number three. So one hit, but nothing else for the Platypie in the bottom of the first. And here is Spanky Wagner. Strike one. Teammates call him Specs as there's strike two. And that's foul. And um, the O2 payoff is now on its way. And it's a Looping liner and Kaufman, or sorry, Cartman dives but cannot come up with it. And it's going to be a base hit for Spanky. Speed Demon at first. We'll see what how uh, the Platypie play it. There's a reason once again Tubule is out there catching. And now the throw. Oh, it couldn't quite get him. It was on the money, but just a little late. A. Heck of an effort there, though. High fastball, quickly to the to uh, second base, just couldn't stop him. And now a run will, or sorry, a hit will score a run, as that's ball four, trying to set up the double play with nobody out here in the second. Frank Battery, the catcher, is up to bat, and once again the Battery, Von Aceson and Chase Tabule for, as that's oh that hit high and deep, Linda Hand. On the warning track, will make the grab. She'll fire to third. No chance, so that's going to be cut off by Sandbrick coming all the way over to the shortstop position or thereabouts. And now Roberto Alba with uh, with one out and runners at the corners will get a chance. Once once again, the battery is Tabule and Von Aceson. Left to right is Studwick, Linda Hand, who we just saw, and Hera O'Wugliams. One out now, ball outside. Third to first, we have Beefcake McStevens, Carrie Cartman, Kitty Kaufman, 
and playing first scooter sandbrick and now that's up back up a comebacker a run's gonna score on it but now huge to come up with the second out there and now with two outs runner on second duck on the pond for godfrey storm the number eight hitter and this uh and this matchup back to a pitcher so we'll see and they're gonna attack go right after godfrey now dancing out of the outside the zone there uh one and two and now that's weekly hit kaufman will field on a backhand fire to first and got him so a great play to end the uh in the second inning but a run will come home to score scooter sandbrick will lead things off here in the bottom of the second inning and he'll start things off with a fly ball flash says he's got it and that's out number one pardon the ear scratch and now Linda Hand will step in, getting the start in center field. Despite the fact that it's a lefty on the mound. And that's a comebacker. Another Charlie Brown moment there for Hugs. And now a runner on first with one out for Kerry Cartman. And he'll foul one off into the dugout. Strike one. The 0-1 pitch. Upstairs, ball one. And now that's hit into left. Under it is Jennings, and she'll make the grab for out number two. So, it'll be up to Chase Tabule to try to get something going here with two outs. Now, we'll catch a corner outside, strike one on a slider. Upstairs, ball one. Runner is going. And Tabule swings at it. It's hit high and deep, but just got under it as Flash is under it and will make the grab for out number three. Nothing doing despite the hit. And we're headed to the top of the third inning. For Hugs Lavelle, who is actually getting her first at bat of the season. They play with the DH over there. And, oh, this one's slicing, and it's going to be... Fair! Extra bases in the corner. A Williams dove, and this is going to be a triple. This is going to be a triple for Hugs Lavelle in her first at bat of the season. Hero Williams tried to stop it, could not. And now a leadoff triple for the opposing pitcher. And that's going to and that's going to score. It's now 2 nothing. I'm still in shock. By that triple, goodness gracious, Becky Jennings will step in now. And she's going to launch this one deep. And that's a rocket moonshot out of here. A launch pad homer for 431 feet, her second of the year. And things not going well for Von Asesen, who, as his namesake says... Is supposed to be the uh, ace for the plot of pie, but has had some rough times, some rough starts, and now falls, uh, or now the count is even at two and two to Flash, and he'll weakly hit it to Sandbrick. We'll just step on the bag for out number two. Spanky will step in, and Spanky is the one as he'll take strike one, the one who got the first run on the board. After getting an infield hit and then stealing a base and getting all the way around to uh, score. The 2 1, 3 and 1. 3 1 pitch, strike. 3 2 on its way. Walked him. Could not get that front door curve to get back over the plate. Now, Blue Michaels will get a chance here. Runner is going. The throw is late. So. A chance to score a run again, and Bloop will take strike two, the 2-1, two or sorry, the 1-2 inside. Sorry, that was even the 0-2. Oh now it's 1-2. Two. 2-2. Two and two. Sorry for the uh, confusion this inning. And now that's popped into shallow center field. Coffin drifting out and will make the grab for out number three. Unfortunately, though, two runs come across, and now Von Asesen will lead things off. Strike one. Ball one low. Von Asesen has a hit. And that's... He's going to have another one. 
He had a couple of hits on the year, and he'll add to that total as now Kitty Coffin will step in with nobody out runner on first. Both pitchers contributing, and that's up the middle. Another comebacker that'll get through for a base hit. That's going to bring up Hera O'Wugliams with nobody out and runners at first and second. She's going to crack one towards the gap. Is Flash going to get there? He will. Runner is going to tag. And now Kitty's caught, but she will get back into ba uh, first base. And now runners will be at the corners for Beefcake McStevens. One out. And back door to curve there and just caught the corner for strike one. That'll miss high. Ball one. 1-1 one, one will miss outside. 2-1. Two 2-1 one. Two one pitch on its way. Can't catch a corner. Ball three. 3-1. Three Runner going. Swung on to miss. The throw is late. So now three and two count. Runners at first, second and third, and oh, Beefcake just missed that one. All of it, but foul. And now he's going to bloop one, which will be caught for out number two, unfortunately. No tag up, and now here is Muffin Studwick. And he's going to ground one to Roper at short, and that's going to end the inning. So, some magic with one out, but couldn't quite get any runs in. And now Frank Battery will step in to bat here to lead things off in the fourth inning. Now this is grounded to McSteven, so backhand fire to first, and there's out number one. Looking for a 1-2-3 inning is Von Aces, and that was a rough one in his last, the last inning. Rough go of it, so that's foul. And the one-two pitch swung through, strike three. Now, Godfrey Storm will step in, and Von Aces is doing a nice job of cleaning up things here in the fourth. And his job now is basically keep him in the game. You saw they were just barely, just barely missed getting back into it. Because that's ball four, cannot get a corner. On the other side of things, Hugs, who's now up one for one with a triple. Hugs was able to get every corner, it seemed like, and now Von Aceson can't get anything. And maybe a little scared to pitch to her, as she did just barely sneak in a triple last time up, and oh no. This ball is hit high and deep. This ball's out of here. It's a two-run homer for Hugs Lavelle. 365 feet, her first of the year. It's 5 nothing Wild Pigs. Snag Roper up. He's going to ground one off of Kaufman's glove, and they can't catch a break. And how, how can you expect Hugs Lavelle pitching in a league that has a DH to come in here and, oh, is that steep? That's going to kick off the wall just barely. Linda Hand will get it back in. But how can you expect Hugs Lavelle to come out and hit, hit a triple and then a home run? I mean, that's just insane. As now Flash Evans will step in. And the count is even at one. And Muffin will glide over to make the grab. Unfortunately, though... Two runs will score to make it a 5-0 lead on a Hugs Lavelle homer. Goodness gracious. Didn't think we'd be seeing that. Three of the runs are accounted for thanks to her. And by the way, pitching a gym. And now Sambrick in, and he will hit one high and deep, but it looks like if the controller will ever reconnect again, and it will... It looks like, yep, under it is Storm, and there's out number one. Linda Hand here looking for something, anything. Still in this one. It's five runs. And that's scorched steep. Godfrey's not going to get that one. It's off the wall. Linda's going to glide into second base, and there's a one-out double. We need to start getting something back here, chipping away at that lead, and that's a good start. Carrie Car Cartman will step in now with one out. 
and we'll line this one, but Roper will make the grab, and it's a double play. Oh, I thought I thought Linda had gotten back in there, but just wandered a little too far off, I guess. And that'll end the inning. Nothing doing in the run department for the pot pie as Spanky will get on base once again. And you have to think that they're going to pitch out here. And they will... Not going though. Still not going. Now 2 0. The 2 0. Strike one. Maybe not going because of such a big lead as Bloop Michael steps in. And Kaufman will feel this one to her left. Only one play, unfortunately. Cannot get the double play. And now Frank Battery will step in and they'll intentionally walk him to try to set up the double play because they know with a single. Spanky can easily score from second. And there's the four pitch pass. And now Roberto Alba will step in. And it's a double steal. And they're not going to get the runner at third. The double steal will pay off and erase the double play. Ball high there. And the infield is going to come in. Infield in. Ball too high. The 2-1 grounded foul. Got to go for the K here, you would imagine. And it's ball in the dirt. Good stop by Tabule. You don't have to come in the zone here. And they will ground it into the infield. And still safe is Spanky. He's just got wheels to burn. And that's 6-0. And that's going to be the end of the line for Von Asesen. And um, it's going to be Kamari Roundhouse to try to put out the fire. Maybe get a double play here. And he's going to get a double play ball. Five, four, three. It's a double play to finally stop the bleeding. Another run is tacked on to make it 6 nothing. And Chase Tabule will step in to hit against Lavelle, who is on fire. But will we'll, we'll, uh, give up a comebacker here for a base hit. Another comebacker. Right back up the middle. And Kamari Roundhouse is going to bat here. He will show bunt. He's going to get it down. Oh, no, he isn't. It's going to be a foul ball. Kamari does have a hit. And he actually pulled back there. Strike two now. And he's going to whiff on the bunt try. And that's out number one. Could not advance the runner. And it's just been that kind of day for the Potipi. And that's up the middle, but Blue Michaels will field it. Toss to second to get one, but cannot get Kaufman. She speeds down the line. So still a chance to get home a run as Hera O'Wuglium steps in. She'll take ball one high. The 1-0. Long look from Lavelle. Strike one. The 1-1. That's going to be blooped into the right, but Bloop Michaels will make the grab. And there's out number three. Hugs, who is two for two with a homer and a triple, will step in. Strike one now. One and one. One and two. Strike three. Frozer. That's a big out. And my apologies. I actually did not announce Kamari Roundhouse's... Uh, uh, pitches or anything so he features a four seamer two seamer slider curve has a 315 now era 130 whip now and just struck out his 11th batter and there's strike one he's a another lefty uh sorry southpaw sidewinder and there's out number two on the ground and here's becky jennings strike one caught a corner strike two the o2 and Sandbrick will make a leaping grab to end the inning. So now time for Beefcake to try to chip at this lead. And he's going to hit one weakly to Roper. Roper, though, has a cannon at short and will make a great play for out number one. Muffin Studwick up and he's going to line one on a frozen rope but straight to Jennings for out number two. Here's Scooter Sandbrick who's going to Weekly uh, line out to Sp Spanky Wenger at third, or Wagner, my apologies, and that is going to bring us to the seventh inning. 
Three pitches, three outs for the Platypi. And bad just keeps on getting worse for them. 1 2 now to Flash Evans. Strike three. Got him to swing through an up and in cheese. Now here's Spanky. Has not been retired yet. But he'll quickly go 0 and 2 here. Weak grounder. Got to hurry. Kamari Fields quickly fires. And there's out number two. Here is Bloop Michaels who's going to ground it to Kitty Kaufman who backhands. Fires the first. And there's out number three. Three up, three down finally. As Linda Hand will step in here. And she'll take ball one inside. Hugs. Fires one in and that's hit deep. But unfortunately not deep enough. Godfrey Storm will make the grab. For out number one, hugs. But I was about to say only at 47 pitches. Now 48 as that's inside. Ball one. Ball two outside. And that's hit blooped into right. But actually had a little bit more carry than I initially thought. Flash will make the grab for out number two. Now that's hit. Roper will make the grab for or will field it off the ground. Throw to first, and there's out number three. And here's Kamari Roundhouse to face Frank Battery. Kamari's really saving the pen here after blowing it, actually, in the last game. And, oh, you'll need an ice pick because that's going to freeze the wild pig catcher. But, yeah, actually blew, blew the game... Uh, Gave up the, the uh, walk-off hit as that's going to be fielded and thrown to first for out number two against the Herbosaurs on uh, Tuesday. And coming in here and saving some massive innings for his pin. So there's strike one to Godfrey. Inside. 28th pitch on its way and it's going to be a low liner caught at the shoe tops by Kerry Cartman. He won't let that one touch his aglet. It's three up, three down. We're right into the bottom of the eighth. Kamari Roundhouse is going to stay in the ball game, it looks like. And he's going to dump one into left, but caught for out number one. And that ball is just hanging up a little more than, than I'm wanting to think here today. As Coffin will step in here, one out, ball one inside, nobody on. A chance to get something going, anything. They really desperately need it now. And now it's a liner, but straight to Jennings. And they are making some really solid contact today. It's just right at people. A bunch of Adam balls. And another one there. Backhand snag in the air for Blue Michaels to end the inning. Kamari's going to run out there again. And will face Hugs. That managed to strike her out last time after, yes, that's right, a triple and a homer for Hugs in her first day hitting and or of the season and a single there and she's a double short of the cycle probably will not get a chance to add on as now i think he's run out of steam oh just safe at first is blue michaels but i think kamari has run out of gas here in the ninth inning and Hugh Jacobs will come in. He has a four-seamer slider and a curve. 198 ERA. That's up the middle and through for a base hit. Linda Hand's going to fire it home. And oh, he got, uh, he got held or stopped at third. The runner did. I thought there was going to be a play at the plate. 198 ERA for Hugh Jacobs. 132 whip. Six Ks. Needs a strikeout here. Strike one. To Flash Evans, who will take ball one inside. Strike on right at the uh, top of the zone there. Now, ball in the dirt. The 2-2. Two -two. He won't swing at another curve. 3-2 and two with the bases loaded. Swung through a 90-mile-an-hour fastball right on the black for strike three. And now, unfortunately, here's Spanky. <laughs> strike one. Up and in. No, called a strike. 0-2. Two, oh 
just did catch the corner. Now they're setting up down and in. Back foot slider will miss. Couldn't get him to uh, hack at that. Now ball too high. The 2-2. Two and two Grounded. Car just past Cartman. It's going to get through. They'll play it station to station. A run will come home to score. They'll bring up Blute Michaels. Ball one just outside the strike zone. Strike one. Strike two to Bloop. The one two weakly blooped into right, but foul. That run, by the way, will go to Kamari Roundhouse's line. And now that's a double play, but no, but with Spanky running, it's not, and Bloop will get the first. So they'll, instead of getting at least one, they'll get nothing. And now Frank Battery steps in. And this is just a blowout at this point. No mercy from the Wild Pigs. There's strike two. Platypie already 17-8. and eight. Could fall to the 14-8 and eight Wild Pigs and make it 17-9. Luckily, still three games ahead in their division. But they do not want to get into a serious slide this late into the season. Now... That's a tapper to Jacobs. He'll fire home. Then throw to first in time. It's a double play to finally get them out of the inning. And now we'll see if they can get anything. At, le at least for dignity at this point. Here in the ninth inning. And that's ball two inside. The 2-0. Called strike one. Beefcake well out in front of that changeup. And now rips a changeup. Foul. Two and two once again. Inside. Ball three. And now that's Walt, and that's in the gap. Finally, a hard hit ball will fall, and that's going to be a leadoff double for Beefcake McStevens here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Now Muffin Studwig will come in, or come up to the plate, and he's going to line one, but this one's going to be caught by Jennings. A lot of tail action on that one. I talked about it and uh, uh, two games ago, I think. Lots of tail and slice off the bats of these uh, platypie hitters and today no exception as that's going to be grounded to Blue Michaels uh, Beefcake will head to third and now Linda Han will come up with two outs and Beefcake at third base first pitch hacking foul the 0-1 up the middle and for dignity's sake the platypie will score one run here and actually, in this league, run differential does matter if there's a tie going into uh, the playoffs. So, that also helps in the run differential department. Makes it from 8 to 7. I don't know. Might matter in the end of the year. It's now 0-2 to Kerry Cartman. Who's going to hit this one. It's going to tail. It's going to fall. Godfrey won't get to it. They're going to wave home uh, Linda. She'll score. It's 8-2 to two now. Kerry Cartman, RBI double. There were two outs. And here's Chase Tabule, who is going to be pitch, pinch hit for by Sky Rodriguez, actually, who has a 324 average on the year, three knocked over the fence, and 15 runners knocked in. And this one is a shot into center field. That is off the wall. Throwing to second, not in time, a run scores. Sky Rodriguez, a pinch hit RBI double. It's cut down to five now. Another pinch hit. This is going to be Willie Bacon for the pitcher, Hugh Jacobs. Willie's going to foul one back, strike one. And that's up and in, ball one. The 1-1. One, one. And weakly hit into center field. Fly ball, and this will end the ball game. Unfortunately, it's curtains for the platypie this time on Friday Night Baseball under the lights. I hope you enjoyed it despite the loss. Final box score, Wild Pigs 8 runs on 11 hits, 0 errors. Platypie 3 runs, 10 hits, no errors. Classic Cookie could not get a win against his former squad. Von Aceson is going to take the loss in this one. 4 in inning, four and a third innings. Seven hits scattered, six earned runs, four walks, one K, two home runs allowed. His record will fall to three and two. Hugs Lavelle went all nine innings, a complete game. Ten hits scattered, three, excuse me, on the hiccup. Three 
earned runs and struck out a batter, her record will improve to 3-1. and one. The Metalhead Software players of the game, Hugs Lavelle, went 3-4 for four with a homer, a triple, not to mention the fact that, you know, she was the pitcher and com did a complete game. Insane. Spank some Shohei Otani stuff out of her today. Spanky Wagner, 3-4 for four with an RBI, two runs scored, and three stolen bases. And then Becky Jennings, who went 3-5 for five with a homer, two, a double, an RBI, and a run scored. So once again, despite the fact that the Pot of Pie lost, I hope you enjoyed this one. This broadcast of Pot of Pie Baseball on the Classic Cookie Gaming Channel. I'm Cookie Cutter. Have an amazing rest of your night. See ya!